This video accompanies the pattern for the little girl's top and skirt set that is in the spring 2018 issue of Cast On. It is sized for four years old up to adult small. And both the top and the skirt feature a pico hem at the bottom. Now the skirt is knit top down. So the hem, the bottom hem, is worked last. And to fold under this pico hem, what I've done to give it this nice clean look instead of binding off and then seaming it, which I've never been very satisfied with, is I have grafted it. And I have grafted it to the front and placed those graft stitches at the bump of this little row of reverse stockingette. And I did that quite intentionally for two reasons. Uh, one, it is a nice little design element. And when you graft to that row of reverse stocking net, it's easier to see where you're grafting. It um, gives you a nice clean line across. And if you've ever grafted to live stitches, a live stitches to something like this, you can know it's easy to get off. I do it quite a bit. Now, the skirt is worked top down. So when I'm grafting here, I'm grafting live stitches to the finished piece. When I work the top, which is knit bottom up, I have worked a provisional cast on, and when my hem is long enough to fold over, I can then graft it. The steps for doing this is exactly the same. It doesn't matter whether it's top down, top, um, bottom up. It's going to be the same step. Now, the skirt and the top are both worked in the round, and my little swatch here where I'm going to demonstrate this is flat knitted. So there's a slight difference and the difference is I'm going to have to be dealing with selvage stitches. Uh, when you're in the round you don't need to deal with selvage stitches but the steps are exactly the same. Now when I position my grafted stitches where I'm going to be grafting to is this row of reverse stocking net. And I'm going to be positioning my needle I just want to show you this location first right here. And what that's going to do is when this is worked and it's finished, it's going to be putting a little additional line on the top part of this bump. Now you can do it the other way around. I can do it uh, here and that's going to be positioning it on the bottom of the pearl bump. Doesn't matter, just pick one and but be consistent. Now because I've got a uh, selvage here, my first step, and this is the same whether you're working in the round or flat, is to go into the first stitch on the needle purl wise. Okay, and if I were working in the round I would do that, <clears throat> and working flat is the same. Now where it's a little different here is where I'm going to be positioning that needle is I'm going to be going, I don't have another stitch here, if I did have another stitch, I'd be going under the stitch, but I don't have it, so I'm just going to go on to the other side of that selvage stitch. And I'm going to bring my needle up, and I'm going to pull that underneath the needle. Pull it kind of tight, and then to finish off this stitch, I'm going to go in knitwise, and then I'm going to go into the next stitch purlwise. And that's going to align that selvage stitch up there. Then, the next step is to go into the same spot where I came out of before and I'm always going to be going under two bars of the stitch above and you want to make sure that you're consistent there you'll be doing half stitches. Pull it tight, knit, take off the needle, purl into the next stitch. And if you've ever done Kishner's this is you know pretty much the same old thing except that instead of uh, grafting it to open stitches, this is things that have already been knit. Now my yarn came out of there, so I'm going to go into the same spot and out. Pull it tight, knit in, then drop it, and then purl. Now what it's doing, if you look at this, is it is creating actually another row of stitches, and so that looks quite nice. I've got this nice little knit edge up here, and if I look over here, it's kind of invisible, but where those stitches are, that's the first one, here's the second one, there's that one, and I'm getting ready to do this one. And if you look closely, you can see it, but really, from a ways back, it's pretty much invisible. And it gives it a nice, clean edge. Knit, and go in, 
and this little reverse garter stitch row here makes it so much easier because when you're trying to do this with you know on plain old reverse stocking it like this it's uh oh it can be very hard to see where you're going and i've done a couple of videos on that which are also included in this and i'm going to go under and i'm just going to continue that until i finish and I finish the same way I start with those selvage stitches. Again, you don't need to do that in the actual pattern because it's knit in the round. And you can see that that does give you a very nice looking hem that's as pretty on the inside as it is on the outside and it does emphasize this um, row of reverse stockinette which adds to the decorative nature of the piece. <laughs> 